Hi, my name is Detroit Miracle, and I am here to talk about the nature of secret societies. Yes, and it's going to be interesting. Okay, many would ask, what is in all intents and purposes the nature of of secret societies. Well, it involves much more than just one thing regarding secret societies. First and foremost, the nature of such a group of people is to remain as discreet as they possibly can while operating throughout society. And we know that that secret societies aren't secret anymore or as secret as they once was because it seems as though everyone knows about them or is well aware of those such societies of people built up of prominent rich people of a variety of sort. Secondly, secret societies want to hold on to and maintain a certain degree of power and influence throughout the world. Meaning, they want to be powerful, they want to be in control but they don't just want to be in control of their situations, but rather as many people's situations as they possibly can. You see, with secret societies, it's not that they just want to be wealthy, rich, comfortable, and happy, but rather they want to be in control. They want to be powerful. They want to exert control and power over as many people as they possibly can because after you obtain a certain amount of wealth then what else is there and that's how they look at it many of them are like well we're rich we're wealthy and much of our wealth and riches is generational and it was passed down to us and we know what it feels like to be rich and comfortable but that isn't enough because we want to be in control of things we want to have power over things and people because that's the thing with wealth and riches you can never get enough of it and it's only a matter of time before you're going to want another type of power and in a case with secret societies many of them want to be in control of other people's lives and situations such as in a case where they want to be able to tell people how to shop how to spend and what to buy and you will find that in cases where, for example, you'll see certain products out there with name brands on it in which people are drawn to. And those people somehow feel compelled to want to go out and purchase and buy those products because of that name. Yeah, when you see all those prestigious fashion names that the public wants to buy and get a hold of who do y'all think are in control over all that stuff ultimately if not a secret society or secret societies in general yes that's the way it is and I can get off into stories of the entertainment industry but I'll I'll get off into the entertainment industry to a certain extent now look, people, we know in the world, the whole world, 
there are probably a few hundred million very talented people that could sing, dance, write songs, and produce mu and produce music. Yes, there are a whole bunch of music producers, songwriters, singers, dancers, and choreographers that you are unaware of. And those such people of talent are trying to make it. They're striving to make it. They hope to make it because they want to be in a position to provide lavish comforts for themselves and their families. When it all boils down, those people want to live well. But you notice that they do not allow hundreds of millions of people into the music industry, the television industry, the movie industry and sports. You notice that it's only a few people or so every year that might make it in. Now, why is that if it's so much talent? Well, you can in part blame that on the secret societies in which apparently state that if they are in control over the entertainment industry that only a few people out of billions can make it in every year and be successful. But you hear those stories that those entertainers who have obtained success had to give up something in return that they might not have wanted to give up. So that fame came at a price. And we know the stories, how people are saying, well, we had to take some kind of oath. We had to do this. We had to do that. And there are even a lot of people saying that, hey, uh, we got it. They got. They had to do homosexual stuff, and they, but it, it's people that deny that. But you never know the way things are because you know if somebody is in power, and if you have a whole bunch of people in, in power, then they want you to know that they have power over you. So they will set certain rules and guidelines to state that hey, in order for you to obtain such vast riches unheard of you're gonna have to get your hands dirty so that we will have something on you and maybe they make the artists do certain things that they don't want to so that they will keep their mouth shut but i know that is only theory and speculation unless you can actually prove it and the only way to prove it is if you were there and can and can confirm what went on or happened well people so that is the nature of C of secret societies please drop those likes comments and up those subscriptions to detroit miracle